The Urban Meyer show has just become the height of bad entertainment in Jacksonville, as if you didn't warn us weeks ago. <laughs> well, you know, winning, as we all know, is a habit, and so is losing. And when you go into a game and the other team kind of knows they're going to beat you, like that Alabama-Auburn game, Alabama knew they were going to win, and Auburn knew that Alabama was going to beat them. And it wasn't that they were that much better. It's just that's that's how that game went. But, you know, the, the Jaguars don't have a culture of winning. You need better players to do that. They've got two good players. They've, they've got Trevor Lawrence, obviously, who's uh, one of them, and Josh Allen is a legit pro bowl, all pro kind of player on defense. But to be a competitive team in the NFL, you need five or six of those guys on your team, and they just don't have that at this point. The bad thing is is that Urban Meyer is, is – um, he's just bad at these press conferences. He's not, he's not believable. He's not sincere. Uh, you know, he talks about how much he loves the locker room and all these other things, but it's just, it's not selling. It's not going over. And I was at the game last week and it's fascinating to sit up there and watch the sideline and he is by himself the whole time. I know that, you know, he's on the headsets with guys up in the, in the booth, but I mean, he's, he's, nobody's ever around him. He's by himself down there. Nobody no, nope, nobody. You know, the only guy ever goes and talks to him is at the end of the game. Trevor Lawrence will go over and put his arm around him, you know, as a show of solidarity, I think. Mm-hmm. But nobody's ever around the guy. And it's kind of fascinating that that's that's a dynamic that I, I've never seen before on a um, uh, on any level. Where well, the should anybody be surprised? I mean, seriously, yeah. it, it still comes down to the fact that I can't understand how Shad Khan got to be a multi-trillionaire. The man's obviously fairly intelligent. He has to be and to hire this circus clown as, as the head coach who has a litany of problems behind him. I mean, Sam, we've talked about this before here. How could he not see this complete disaster coming? The Jaguars will not go to the playoffs or will not make a dent with Urban Meyer at the helm. Everybody with a brain knows that, except for Shad Khan. It, next year, they think that you know that's the year that he needs to make some progress. I think he sold Shad on the fact that you know, they're not going to win this year. And think about this. They've already won twice as many games as they won last year. So you can consider that a success if you want. But, you know, it's interesting that to me that Meyer, as the Florida head coach, left there well hated by Gator fans. 60% of all college football fans in Jacksonville are Florida fans. Some of the season ticket by public for the Jaguars has to be those crossovers. And so those people aren't all fired up about Urban Meyer coming to be their head coach. I can tell you that because, I mean, remember, they still can't put him in the ring of honor because they're afraid that they're going to boo him in Gainesville if he shows up. So uh, it, I just think it's funny. Maybe next year when Dan Mullen is standing on the sideline next to him, he'll have somebody to yeah. talk to. Maybe that that could be. Uh, oh, Sam, let, you know, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, it looks like, you know, they say coaches lose the locker room. Did he ever, do you ever think he had the locker room to begin with? I think, uh, George, that's a real good kind of study in how you capture that when you start. And I don't think he ever was able to achieve that at the highest level. I think that, you know, guys were looking at him tentatively and say, let's see what this guy does. Let's see how it goes. And as you know, coaches don't win or lose games, really. They they just kind of keep things together. But the locker room itself has to believe in the overall philosophy of what they're doing, the standard of excellence that is set. And uh, he's been unable to, to lift that locker room to that point. Those guys do like each other. They play for each other. But they're just not good enough right now to win football games. 